Hi guys, I have a pretty quick update for you here because I think I have accomplished everything that we talked about in our last meeting. So just to reiterate, I'm still showing the same existing kitchen to remain on the demo plan. Um, I've added a few more notes here and there, but for the most part, the demo plan is pretty similar. Uh, I am showing to expand the existing opening here, uh, but go, let's go ahead and zoom in on the new plan here. So what we're seeing here is uh, coming into the front uh, entry uh, through a porch that I've slightly expanded and I've included an entry bench that would hug along the left side wall and hopefully continue in to the foyer through a window, just like that really nice inspiration image that you shared. Um, I'm opting for now to cap that entry bench here with a bit of a wing wall to separate the foyer from the rest of the gathering space that might happen at the big art wall here uh, instead of the display area that we're showing. And I really like this. Now, uh, whether or not we end up with the end cap wall here, or if we just leave it open, that'll be determined when we start looking at this in the 3D modeling. But I really like this right now as a uh, design option. And if we zoom in a little bit, I'm showing a lot less built-in cabinetry uh, intentionally. So remove the built-in cabinetry from the home theater game room area. This could just be furniture now that you'd supply yourself. Um, and the big art wall here, I have uh, reconfigured this so that there is a display area just opposite of this uh, existing window that will be converted to a cased opening at the kitchen sink which I think would be really nice to see, both from the sink and when you're uh, walking uh, deeper into the house. I've also opted to relocate the washer and dryer hookup to this corner, thinking that this alcove here would be a great space for extra storage or some cabinets or shelves to be determined. This, of course, could be where a stacked washer and dryer goes, but I think it makes more sense in this corner. And then if you wanted, I know you have a stacked washer and dryer now that you want to keep, but you could go side by side, which I think feels a little more luxurious. Um, so that's why I'm showing the hookups in this corner here. And then the office flex room, I've opted to change what was just one pocket door. Now that I'm not trying to incorporate a big bookshelf area here, I can have the pocket extend past the wall here, still allowing for a big art wall, but now when both of these pocket doors are open, this space would feel a lot more open and friendly, but still could be closed off if we need some privacy in the office for a phone call or something like that, and the games or home theater area is getting a bit too noisy. But I would imagine that for the most part, this might just be left in the open position to let uh, a lot more uh, light and just circulation happen between these two spaces. Um, let's see here. I have now shown uh, an expanded arched opening at the kitchen and dining, but I'm still opting to leave a little bit of a wing wall here just to help catch the corner of the vaulted ceiling. Uh, and I am showing a nine foot wide three panel sliding glass door. And I feel like this is pretty glassy. It's still very, very open. The, the table would typically sit centered on the panel but there's room to expand quite a bit with some extra leaves, uh, table leaves, uh, towards the buffet area. To be honest, I wonder if it doesn't make more sense though to have the table typically live down here in a little more private alcove, kind of tighter to the buffet, and let this be a little more open for the most part. I think that's what I'll send you in the uh, PDF I emailed to you. Uh, I think looking at this again, uh, that's what I would prefer rather than having all this open space here, let the open space happen where the circulation to the outdoors might happen. Still showing a six foot by four foot new island uh, that is uh, centered around all the existing cabinetry to remain with the new pantry and the low buffet happening here. Uh, showing the better ADU kitchen And then one final change that I made was to opt in just to show sliding doors for or bypass doors for all the closets. 
Uh, I think given the uh, conflicting door swings, I think um, it's prob and uh, your budget, I think it's probably better to go with these less expensive doors. Uh, I don't personally prefer the look of the bypass doors where one leaf is in a different plane than the other for the reasons I mentioned on site, but I think all things considered, it'd be fine. And then here, um, we talked about the fact that this reach distance is less than the two feet limit that I'm concerned with. But if you wanted to go with wider bypass doors, uh, you could without having to worry about the doors swinging out and conflicting with your entry door, entry door into the main primary bedroom. I think that covers all the changes that I made. I think it's now time to start getting some contractors to give you some pricing estimates on this. So I'll start sharing this with the contractors. Thank you so much, guys.